Hi, welcome to the first tutorial on SynAt SubFX. Um, I'm going to uh, make a couple of tutorials uh, on this fantastic synth. It is an absolute gem in uh, in in, in uh, LMMS uh, uh, sound generator package, um, but it's also somewhat um, daunting to to uh, to encounter because there's so many knobs and uh, sliders and stuff that's really confusing. Um, so I'm going to share some of uh, my experience with this uh, 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 synthesizer. It is in fact a VST but it's built in to LMMS. Um, and by the way, yet when we had it um, in the developer forum, it has been discussed that um, LMMS really needs uh, a new name, one that is um, easier to pronounce. And geniusly enough, someone suggested that it should be called Elements. So it's spelled LMMS, but pronounced Elements. I'm going to do that. I like it. Uh, elements, the program is well, um, built with elements, elements that can create sounds and eventually we have music. So elements it is and Sunet Soup FX is the topic. The name Sunet Soup FX is actually um, a describing name uh, and it is shown in what is programmers call Hungarian notation um, with uh, small and capital letters um, uh, in a name and the whole name such sort of uh, describe what the, the product is able to do. It's a synthesizer, it's additive, it has a sub synthesizer, it has uh, FX uh, that is effects um, built in actually in three different layers as we're going to see in another tutorial. Uh, so it's a very uh, describing name and uh, not something that is meant to be a uh, uh, drunk driver's test. Um, when you uh, take a look at the new, that is from uh, from uh, the 048 series of elements, um, the new uh, graphic user interface, you'll see that we have uh, new knobs uh, on this uh, interface. That's very good because uh, because um, Sun is a um, I'll call it SYN for short. Uh, SYN is uh, a VST, so as all the other VSTs, you cannot use anything on uh, this page. The envelope and low frequencies oscillators is off limits. You cannot use anything at all. But uh, happily, um, we now have this that will give us uh, the possibilities to manipulate some of the um, deeper uh, functions in the synthesizer. When you first open the synthesizers uh, you'll see a um, uh, comes here. You'll see an interface that looks like this. This is the um, uh, the simple user interface and we're only going to look at that today. What I'm going to show you is uh, how it's possible to create completely new instruments without turning any whatsoever knobs or any sliders in the deep settings. Uh, the default uh, sound is not extremely interesting. It is a simple sinus. But um, you now have this um, you see click here to load an instrument. This is a shortcut to the banks and when you click here it will open the the banks 
where the uh, predefined instrument is uh, positioned. In a later uh, tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to, uh, I'm going to show you how to create your own banks and how to expand the existing banks. Uh, but we'll have to go deep uh, uh, into the instrument on the advanced users uh, interface. Um, this is the drop down for uh, the, f the, the bank folders. As a matter of fact, that is only the folders that is on um, uh, uh, in, in, in your own uh, um, libraries. Um, if I now choose uh, a sub bank here, it will open that sub bank. You will see this is one of the sub banks called Rhodes. Now Rhodes, that is uh, piano like instruments with a, uh, with, with a heart attack. And we can choose that one, for instance. Nothing really happened at first, but when we close the instrument, you'll see that this is now changed to Ice Roads Tree. And hello, this is different and better. But it's not a new instrument, that is just the Ice Roads Tree. And it goes to something called part one. And we have in fact several of those. Sixteen, to be more precise. We have sixteen parts. And you can see that it is only the first part, the ice road tree, that is enabled. But let's add a new part and enable that part. And then you have a complete new um, uh, uh, well, uh, possibility actually, because now you can click here to load an instrument. So we'll do that, and in this case, we'll take uh, we can take one of the pads, for instance. And how about see if we can find something here called something strings, I think it's yeah, string pads. That was the one I was looking for. String pad one. Okay. We take string pad one and we close that. And now you can see we have a part two with string pads one and a part one with ice roads tree. So we can only hear here the string pad. We can only hear that. Well, that is because the part one is going to the channel one and the part two is going to the channel two. So we're going to change that channel 1. Now we have part 1 to channel oh sorry, part 1 to channel 1 and part 2 to channel 1. And now this is a layer of instruments and it will actually not um, well it, it, it doesn't need very much resources. So you have here a complete new instrument that you can save as a new instrument uh, through the uh, elements user interface um, and you can actually also do other things with it but just save it as a new instrument um, and we had 16 parts so we can uh, we can continue here we can put a new part in enable that part send it to channel 1 and load a new instrument and I don't know uh, why we have that. We can take something like mm, like that analog pad, and now the instrument goes. you had 16 parts so it's, it's just pick up uh, your creative uh, bone and well you can do so much and you also have this over here let's take that immediately we have something called insertion effects we also have something called system effect and deeper in we have uh, other uh, 
yet another uh, effects layer we can put on. But let's keep on to the insertion effects. You can see here you have eight different effects that you can put on this and you have an insert. The insert you have to send to the part that you're using and we're using part one. So the part one instrument will now get, and the part one is the ice roads tree, will now get the effect that we choose here. That could be, for instance, a uh, chorus. Listen. The effect has presets. You can choose from these presets. That is, we'll call them suggestions. But you can also say, no, I want to completely have my own. Now, on the part tree, we have the analog path. Um, so let's go to uh, part tree and pull in a new uh, send that to and take here we can take alien Wawa and it goes like this So, there you have it, completely new instruments from the uh, SYN uh, sound generator or synthesizer without turning a simple knob. You don't have to go deep into uh, the instruments, uh, but you can do a lot of things if you do go deep into the instruments. We're going to look at that uh, in later uh, tutorials. Um, but. Um I hope you have been inspired to create some interesting and uh, great sounding instruments uh, from the simple user interface. Bye bye.